Hello, everybody. Badger Wild. We are back. Live streaming again. I'm just trying to get everything figured out. Anyway. <clears throat> want to enjoy and uh, invite and welcome everyone who's joined the live stream tonight. Uh, not everybody is at the beginning of the live stream, but some people come on in. They're, they're late. It's okay. We have a place for you here. So, to recap what is happening, because I have to do this at the beginning of every video. This is Survival Under Fire. Survival Under Fire is me basically surviving in the middle of nowhere in-game with several survival mods. Some, some, a couple of uh, modifications, if you will, to the actual gameplay mechanics in this game. One of which is I am constantly under attack by NPCs. I have robots falling from the sky. I have bad guys, raiders, pirates, pirates with spiders in one episode, mind you. I get in one, I got thoroughly overwhelmed and almost overwhelmed and almost lost the entire base in another. In short, this becomes very difficult to maintain very quickly. Now, at this base that I have built here, which I will fly up here and show you what is going on. Let's head back down here for a minute because I think I'm about out of... Yeah, my jetpack's not... Build. Let's see here. Can we... Can I finally put this in here? Ah, I can. Okay, let's get that out of there. I've got some guns. I've got some weapons. But most importantly... I have a base started. Now we've got a large refinery, a the maximum assembler we can get, and plenty of storage. The only other problem we're going to run into, I can foresee, is power. That's what we need. We have resources coming out of this, which now will be easy to fix and repair. Uh, it'll only require me to build a few things and just get to work very quickly. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to solve a couple of missions. We're going to do a few missions. Uh, we're going to use the survival pod here, which is rather interesting. The survival pod is running out of power, which is insane. I don't know why it's running out of power. Let's, let's try something here. Let's turn... Let's put the survival kit... Here, we'll toggle that off and on. And we'll toggle this block off and on. And that should do it. So what should happen here is I can... 5 and 6 can be turned off. And that should slow the power drain here. And if I need that on, I'll just come over and I'll turn it back on. But what is happening here right now... Actually, what I could do, I could... Probably put myself some stuff in, in like some hydrogen and some other things. That'll have to be something I do later. Right now, this is pulling a large amount of material. And if I push, I think, the italics button, I can see a mission that we have active right now. So the mission is simple. I have to bring 11 silicone wafers for 3,873 SE. So this is a contract mission. And contract missions, one of the things that you can do with them is you can provide things. We're going to take this over here because that's where we've got to deliver it. Hopefully we are not attacked. And just to save this, I'm going to do this on foot. Which means pulling out the old Remington 870 Desert Camo. And running across this field here. Hoping to God we don't get attacked. Now, we do have our 1911 45 caliber. I don't have one of these guns in real life. I actually have the A1 model in real life. And I do have a Remington 870 clone. And let me tell you something. If the clone is half as good as the actual Remington, geez, I would hate to be on the end of a real of the real live Remington. Uh, the one I've got is a Savage Arms. It is made by Savage, and 
they make a copy of the Remington 870 because you can copy firearms that are in production or being sold to the military. So pretty interesting little fact there. But today we are we are going up to uh, the STDC station here, which are a mining company, and they are asking for some silicone wafers. Now, not, not the silicone that's in Pamela Anderson's chest, mind you, for those of you that are too young to know and haven't grown up in the 90s, please do check out Pamela Anderson Baywatch. You will not be disappointed. But anyway, this is also not a stream for kids, so if you're a kid... I don't know how to respond to that. I don't want to be disrespectful. I don't want to be mean. Use your judgment. Okay, that's what we're going to say right there. So as I said, this is survival under fire. We could come under attack, which is why we are armed and we have a base that is armed at all times. Right now, we've come all the way out here. At some point, I have got to build a machine that can get us across uh, the deserts and everything. I don't have to worry about being shot at. Now, inside this bubble... I am pretty helpless because I cannot fire. I cannot defend myself. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is if I come under attack is run for the edge of that bubble and lure everything outside. But we are going to head up this ladder here. We're going to drop off these silicon wafers and we're going to make about three grand. We're also going to look at some of the missions we've got going on here and see if we can't figure out how to do something. Of course, also with about three grand, one of the things we can do is we can now buy some uranium. They sell uranium here, which is interesting. Each one of these stations does something different, and so you'd probably have to modify your tactics based on the situation. But, as I said, this station is a mining station. It provides small things, and with the addition of a welding pit at some point in time, I could effectively build... A healer and we could use it now first off we're gonna go over here and we're going to accepted contracts we're gonna finish this contract character inventory and we're gonna get three thousand eight hundred and seventy six base credits now looking at this we've got a whole lot of other options we've got magnesium powder which is about 145 I probably wouldn't do that one uh, we can bring some uranium in it's so about 181 for about 13 million dollars which would also be nice It'd also bring about six explosives i don't know how to make explosives six explosives i wonder how i build those let's accept because that's actually not a bad contract here's a search contract which gives about twenty-eight thousand. another acquisition contract here let's see 757 I don't have a ship to bring this stuff in. So getting it and bringing it now here, 41 canvases. I might be able to do that one eventually. We got some silver ingots. I'm not interested in giving them anything that's unusual. Iron ingots, however, 22,000. I th think I can do that one. Let's continue looking down through here at acquisition contracts. Another one for 33 power cells. Got 361 computers on this on this one here for 110 gold, which I have not found a gold mine for yet. So we got some we've got some options here. There's some gold ingots. There's no way in heck I'm gonna be able to get this stuff, but here's some gold ore. I don't know what that would get me. That's not what I'm after. What I'm after is I am after uranium is what I'm after but all I'd be able to get is a uranium ingot which is $85,000 that's that's not good that's not good I'm not gonna be able to use that uh hmm here's a question gold ore right like a million dollars off of this. Hmm. I don't know how much of this I could buy, but let's uh, let's go back over here to that contract. I may grab that one just in case, because it is a two million dollar contract. 
and it's only asking for 110. Be able to cheat the system here because they're offering gold ore. So let's see about how much I can buy here. So at 4,000. Four thousand nine oh four or four thousand nine fourteen. Now I wonder how much of this I'd be able to actually use. Let's deposit some money while we're at it. Let's just uh, let's deposit some money. Let's see what we can do here. Thousand ten dollars deposit. That gives us a little bit more. Go all the way up to 5,900. Okay. Yeah, so we got 31. I need 100 and something. Is there anything I can sell? I could sell a lot of things. Steel plate is actually pretty dang valuable right now. Or oh, the gold ore. I think I'll grab all of these. Uh, no, I can't do that. Um, let's, uh, go back here. Also, what, what else could I sell? Okay, I can't, I can't sell any of that. Ah, uh, no. God. Let's just do this the old way. Out. We can get 31. We can buy that. Let's buy it. Wait, I said buy it. A hundred and something SE. How did I not buy? I bought one. How did I buy just one? And wiped my account. I wanted a lot more than that. Where's the rest of it? Don't tell me I bought a 189 lump of gold. Okay, good. We got 31. So we, we have a couple of options here. I can go back and make a couple, about 40-something canvases. Bring them back. That'll be fun. And then if I can, I can get enough gold, I can complete that one mission. So, I mean, options. I have options. I got the old shotgun. Let's run back. So the 31 gold, let, let's see what that gets us. Because I think we need like 100 and something. If we could just buy the gold from them at, at 100 bucks and spend just 50,000, I think is what we could do. If this pans out. And we end up with $50,000 investment. We would come out ahead of 2 million. This means I would have a lot of money left over, which I could put into my bank account, which means if I run into a problem and I'm far away from base for some odd reason, I would have the ability to go out and buy myself a new ship, one that's already in production. So that's actually pretty good. That's actually a pretty good idea. Let's do that. Let's get out here. Let's get us some nice gear let's get some nice gear let's get some some nice equipment heading back to base here and i realize i'm gonna have to put i'm gonna have to install some stuff in the base ah just things i'm gonna have to do fortunately i i can put this gold in here and the gold is gonna give me I'm going to get up to about 31 gold. I can also start the canvassing. If they're still selling gold ore, I can buy more gold ore. And I can process it. I'm just wondering, what is the payout? 
of processing the gold? That's my question. Because of the two million mark, I mean, we could buy. We could literally just keep buying gold and selling it back to the company. I mean, why the hell not? <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, come on. Okay. Ooh, I bet it's not a good return. We got point three thirty one of an ingot. <laughs> That's less than half. <laughs> so we, we wasted our money on that one. Let's see here now what my uh, missions are. We got explosives here. We have iron ingots we can make. We also got gold ingots, which is like 110. Uh, this one here requires six explosives. Let's see. Can I make explosives? What's it take to make an explosive? Oh, here we are. And it seems we have company. So here's an explosive. It only required. Wow, this is easy money. The explosives only require a silicone wafer and some magnesium powder, both of which I can get my hands on. And I guess somebody wandering around out here. Hey, look, we have NPCs. Hello, sir. Sir. You're walking around our base. How are you doing? You seem dazed and confused. But I introduce you to my friend, Mr. 12 Gauge Buckshot. You not want to... Okay, all right, then. Nobody wants to challenge Mr. 12 Gauge Buckshot. Oh, Francis has been a very good guard dog, obviously. <sighs> Let's see here. I do have to make some adjustments to the base before I leave, because if I come back... We're going to have a fight on our hands. Now, looking at the base, I have a wicked blind spot here. That I need to fix. And I've got a means of fixing it. It's going to require some iron. Well, let's, let's run in here real quick. Get some iron. At the same time, let's go to this. And I want to put, what is it? Two, three, four, five, six. That's all I need. Oh, we can build it. Looky there. That's awesome. How oh, about canvas? Can we make that? I bet we can. How much canvas do we need? 40 something if I'm correct in my assessment here. Acquisition contract. Oh, that's gold. Oh, we don't have the canvas. We just need the iron ingots, and then we can get more stuff. I wonder if I'm going to spend about a million gold, two million, just to get the gold. <laughs> I'm probably better off mining that. Okay, so we got some stuff, but I do need to move that. Uh... I do need to move that. Go ahead and throw about a thousand steel plates in here. And then inventory, let's put, hmm, all right, there we go. All that's back in there. Where is the industrial assembler at? Let's grab those explosives. Let's grab more of this. And what we need to do is we need to build a secondary wall around the base. Let's get that done. Number nine here. Seriously. I can't place this light armor block here. Let's find another way to do this. Go ahead and fill this section up here. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Go, go. 
All right, check that out. Hey, we have a viewer. Nice of you to be here tonight. It is Friday. I don't have work tomorrow. My kid doesn't have school. <laughs> so we're going to enjoy some time here. I got to run this just a little late, sleep in, and maybe do another late stream tomorrow. See you just in time. We've only been doing this for 20 minutes. I hope you enjoy. So right now, we're doing missions like we were supposed to do yesterday. But the missions didn't work out, <laughs> if, if uh, you can guess. Let's see here. I need... How much do I need? How much do I need? One hundred and forty-seven. Oh, I've got the one. I've got one, two, three, four, and five. That stores these up. I've got a little bit of gold. But it's not a lot. It's not a lot. So I do need to run and do this mission real quick. Get some more monies. Because I just blew my monies on a concept that didn't pan out idea probably would be a better option well here we go I'm gonna run through here we're gonna build this up i may just take the materials that i get and turn it into a may just make a better welder at some point because we do need a better welder we need a level three welder or a level four welder, I think is the correct term for it. Ah, oh, yes, wonderful. So the flooring is getting done around the base, and the base is just expanding. Now, another problem with the base expanding is as the base expands, I have more I have to defend, which means I have to spread my guns out a bit more. Which is not a problem, because I'm just going to take an existing gun placement that I have and just put it where it needs to go. Simple. Very simple. Okay, that's all the blue we can do right here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a pipe out the end here and let that connect into this, or... Probably run a pipe in the middle of these at some point. That'll be useful. So let's get to going down here. Grab a whole bunch more plate. Okay, can't can't go mess with that right now. So we'll head this way. Up to this and work here. Now for the moment, I need to put a gun over here because I have a blind spot that needs to be worked on. Which means taking this gun over here completely apart in a minute and rebuilding it over at the corner of the base there. Doing that will give me the defensive capabilities I need and it'll also make things a heck of a lot easier. I also need to consider building some walls because walls are cool. But right now, this is what we're doing. We're going to weld this up. And then once I get this defensive turret moved, which is the beautiful thing about these uh, interior turrets, you can just move them. So wonderful. Uh, let's go back here. To... All right, see? Just pick the turret up and we'll move it over here. So we have defensive firepower. Now let's go over. I can figure out, well, I don't have that gun up there, apparently. Now, yes, I can build some custom turrets. That's not a problem. Oh, yeah. And as I said, I, I will come under attack. These turrets are absolutely necessary right now. Because if I get attacked, 
this is the only defensive weapon that I've got right now that does better than me. So this actually prevents the base from being attacked outright. Now then, let me look here. How are we doing? Oh, that's barely even going up. Okay. Uh, let's see. Five, we'll turn that on. Moment. Let me head over here and just recharge off this. I think I'll just leave this on for a moment. I really need to set up some sort of connector to this thing so that when I land it, I can connect it into the base and it'll just recharge the battery. Yeah, the battery's doing, actually. Where's my battery? There we are. We're 4,906.84 kilowatts being put in. Current output is 22. Current input is 60. And falling. That's wonderful. <laughs> That's just wonderful right there. Okay, so we've got that figured out. We have moved a turret. The only thing I can do now is hook the old Remington and head on out. The guns will handle anything if it tries to attack, though I do eventually need to build a anti-vehicle turret just for the robot raiders as they try to bust into the base. That needs to be a thing. I can build one. That's not a problem. I can build one. <sighs> it's just building one that's going to be the difficulty. Now, eventually, I've got to take apart all the stuff that I, all the low tier stuff I have built, because we have the advanced assembler, we have an advanced refinery. That is enough for us to get a system going and, and just keep going forward. But I plan on building at least three of these each. And apart from that, I need to separate the, uh, I need to separate the refinery and stuff away from the actual, or at least have the storage in between my ship that I'm going to build eventually, or one of the ships I'm going to build, and my big storage container, because that's going to, the, the storage tanks is going to operate as a buffer between me and the outside world, <clears throat> or, or at least my refinery, because my refinery is just going to start, once it, once it runs into a problem, it starts looking for the closest thing to fill up, and that's going to be what the closest thing it fills up is going to be. It's going to be those cargo containers. If my ship is closer to it than the cargo containers, it will start filling up the car, the ship. And if nothing's worse than trying to go mining and looking in there and finding a whole bunch of metal reinforced metal grates or a whole bunch of superconductors, and you're like, I gotta go back to base because this stuff is too valuable to throw out of my ship. Yeah, that happens. Trust me, it's not as much fun as you think it is. Anyway, trying to get up here. If it'll let me. What is with that last step? Just can't seem to get over it. All right, what was that? Oh, okay. Something I gotta worry about right now. Now, these delivery missions are kind of something you need to be ready to do if you want to make a little bit of cash and have some spending money in SE because the delivery, the um, acquisition missions, I think that's what they are. You can actually do these pretty cheaply and there is not a limit on how many of these you can do. There's also no time. I'm gonna finish. Made 200 something dollars and finish that one there. Made another 2,570 something. So we've got a whole bunch of money. All right. I could buy gold ingots for $2,000. I'm pretty sure that is not economically feasible <laughs> anymore after seeing that happen. But let's look through here. What do we have? What do we have? I could use one of those. 
I also use one of those. Let's see what, what I can sell. Not that much. Construction components probably sell pretty good. Buy another data pad, but they don't sell like the good stuff here. They don't sell zone chips. That is irritating. That's annoying. All right, acquisition contracts. This has reworked. Yeah, this here is Canvas 44. Volume is 352 liters. Let me check here. What's my... Oh, I actually could carry that much. Let's do it. It's a, a 1,380 contract. I can't carry that. That's over my limit. Uh, iron ore. I could possibly fill that one now. Right outside. Search contracts here. Superconductors. I don't want to wire that one. That's a hauling contract. Uh, nickel ingots. Yeah, I could. I could do that. These acquisition contracts are actually pretty cheap to do. And then you got hauling contracts, search contracts. I don't have any military contracts, so I've got several of these. I can make money off the first one right now, which is uh, the iron ore contract. Pretty simple because right outside there is a boulder here wherever it's at yeah right here <laughs> yes I, some people say this is cheating i say it's good business <laughs> okay how much do we have we have 370 how much does the contract ask for uh 433 okay can just bust out a few more pieces here. There we go. Uh, grab you too. I haven't forgotten you. Now we should have more than 300 gold. Or th not 300. 300 gold, dear God. All right, here we go. Bad. And we can complete this contract right off the bat. Acquisition contracts, uh, iron ore. I can finish that right here, right now. Check it out. Another 49,000. <laughs> now I just need 44 canvases and 26 nickel, and we can make some money today. All right, we are, we're starting to, to beat the system. We are making money, and we are getting somewhere. All right. This is wonderful. Oh, hey, a medical room. Just wondering what was here. Yeah, bathroom. Need to install that in the... Uh... Oh, wow. Freight. I hadn't thought of that. I should make some freight cargo. I should make some freight boxes. Back when I get to base. That'd be good. Okay. This is just on the way. I might as well see if I can get it. Do, 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 do. If you start rolling, I can almost assure you that things will not go your way. You're not running? That's good. All right, we got a leopard welder. I got to try and take some of this welding stuff and see if I can't uh, make something out of it. Or get rid of some of it. You can actually trade this stuff uh, in the game. You can actually trade it off. And not make yourself money. You can actually get coins in SE. Oh, wow. We got some nice stuff here. All right. There we go. Wait, what is that rock? Is that a rock? No, it's not a rock. I got to watch because there are meteor strikes all over the place. And they have ore in them. Could run into some really nice stuff if you know what you're doing. So we're back at base. Back at base. All the extra little people are here. Drop in over this way. 
deploy everything because hey that's what we need ah <sighs> so what was i needing <laughs> what do i need right now i need two three four one two three four okay i need 40 of those i can't remember how much nickel i needed oh by the way basic assembler take that uh let's go back here what do i need for this all right we need 44 canvases we need 26 nickel not bad not bad at all grab our 26 nickel one two three got our three nickels got 26 canvases being made we're gonna grab a whole bunch of this stuff and we're gonna go number nine here and i'm gonna go to the far end here and start building while i wait for that now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a catwalk system right over here because these two um uh oh i'm gonna need the jetpack yeah i am really i could probably just open this up and have it start storing i think that's what i'll do because there's no point in doing it the other way wait what am i doing Let's see, An interior wall. I could do that instead. Huh. That would actually be a much better option. It would look better, too. Let's do that. Break out our grinder here while I make corrections. <laughs> Time to make corrections, ladies and gentlemen. We don't make mistakes. We make happy accidents as... Bob Ross used to say. Ah, oh, come now. There we go. Uh, let's see. Production. I am going to need a thousand of those and a thousand of these. I also want a thousand of those, a thousand of those, a thousand of those. I would also love a thousand of those, a thousand of these. Uh, we're just going to let the whole system just start building. Because why not? I think what I want to do is I may want to put a hangar door here. Because we got plenty of storage to build something with. I mean, we're going to be able to build just about anything I want to build. Not going to be difficult. Not going to be difficult at all. So, uh, let me look. Let me look here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks nice. Sometimes building is all about the aesthetic. Oh, there. There. There, da -da. there we are. All right. This will almost be like a main entrance way into the base. I don't know how I'm going to do the door. Oh, well, we'll figure that out as we go. Oh, I need construction. Now, let's look here. I know I got this wall. I got to have these doors. Tell me I got these doors. I don't have the doors. You really tell me I don't have the doors. Because I haven't made a door yet. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's very interesting. Razors provide cover while allowing your enemies. While allowing you to keep up pressure on your enemies. What does this look like? I've never actually used this block. Oh. Oh. Pretty darn good. My question is, does it fold? Because <laughs> it looks like it folds in. It'd be kind of cool if it does. Not gonna lie. That'd be kind of cool if it does. I need something like this, just you know, to protect the base with. And run up to it and just start shooting out of. Yeah, so I can shoot at you from outside my enclosure. Oh well. Go over here and look. Okay, we are just eating through the iron ingots and stuff right now. Wonderfully. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, inventory. That. Uh, let me see. Okay, I've got all those. I've got plenty of other things to go with it. Well, oh, the pistons have not been opened fully. Holy crap, I didn't realize I've got a whole... I thought that was already opened. Jeez. That is awesome. That is amazing. All right, we have we have full enclosure capability. We're going to be able to build everything I want to build. I'm going to be able to weld up everything I want to weld. Let's start welding now, actually. All right, we're going to need more interior plates. Where are my interior plates? Holy crap, we got a bunch of those. Nice. There we go. Grab way more of those. Sure is taking a lot. There we go. Get this stuff welded up as best we can. Constructing more interior walls. More and more interior walls. That's what we need. Ah. So we've got some missions done. What's interesting is we're 43 minutes in. Not coming under attack. I swear, though, we'll hear target acquired. And then it'll really go nuts. All right, this interior plating here is done. I am trying to build walls. Right, that should be enough. Yeah, we'll be fine. There we go. Look at that. It's all working out beautifully. Working out beautifully here. Now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put the actual connector to the outside onto the very farthest away. Um... Crap, what was I going to say? We're probably going to put it on the very farthest away uh, car containers. Because with that going on, I should be able to... not. Ha I shouldn't have to worry about everything filling up. 
because the system will automatically dump into the closest of the two. Ah, oh, that is beautiful right there. Look at that nice little grid going through there. All right, let's head over. The wind is here. Oh, boy. I, I think I'm going to have to get some silver at some point and just build a maybe a medical station somewhere in the base. I don't know. And maybe something I have to do eventually. No. Oh. Okay. Can't do anything about this because this is not going to charge right now. Ugh. I'd almost have to buy uranium just to Make ends meet. That's almost unfeasible. It's almost unfeasible. Four. Here. Stop that. Let's just... Two here. There we are. And we are going to hook this up. Of that one. That. And we're going to do that. Uh, saw that little glowing spot and I thought, crap. Somebody just broke into the base. I'm going to have to kill him. All right, there we go. Now, number four. I need construction components to build a catwalk. Really? Okay. Where's my catwalk at? Where's the catwalk? One. And the build planner there. And run right over here. Grab all the components I need. Unable to place. Why? Oh, well, screw it. I don't need to know. Let's see. All right, we got all this done. Oh, it is just rapidly drawing things in. It's it's beautiful. Now, let's grab this here. Okay, so I can grab the nickel here. Thirty I've got. I also need to grab these canvases. Forty-four of those. Got some nice stuff going for us. We can now make a small run back over to this base over here. And I can use my newly found um, equipment, by the way. also need to access that 12 gauge. Because I come under attack. I'm going to need to defend myself. So we're going to head back over here to the uh, STDC base. And we're going to drop off all this stuff, make a little bit more money. We're going to have a lot of cash on hand. And if I can, I may try to do some exploratory you know, searches. See if I can't find... See if I can't find... Something nice. Now, we are digging that hole deep, and I can't believe how deep that hole is going to go, because I didn't realize we had another piston sitting there, ready to go. But we do. We do have another piston going. Also, our current 
boat of transportation, which is that little ship of ours, does not appear to want to do anything we wanted to do. So I have a problem. I have a problem there. I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that thing so that we can actually hook it up into something or something like that. I may have to add a battery pack. But I may have to take the uh, materials out, build some new stuff, and then uh, build it over. Or just get a healer built. Because a healer will give us the ability to run out to areas with materials and stuff, with ores, and I'll be able to throw those into the back of the healer and just drive it on back to base. Now, if I put an ejector on there, which will eject everything, I can just push a button on the healer, and it'll eject all ores out. So everything I throw in the healer, it'll automatically be dropped off into a little pit, which goes directly to me. Now, there's one step here. Huh. Didn't give me a fit that time. All right, here we go. We're going to drop off this canvas. We're going to drop off these nickel ingots. Hopefully, we're not going to get shot at. And here we go. We're going to make more money, folks. Contracts. Accepted contracts. We've got this one here. We're going to finish that up. We're going to make a 138,706 SE or SC. I was going to drop off these 26 nickel ingots. We're going to make about another 10,000 SC. We are making some money, folks. We're making some good money. Look at that. We got four hundred and thirty-seven thousand dollars here. We are halfway to a million. And oh, it's looking good. Look through here. I do need some uranium ingots if I'm gonna make a if I'm gonna make something that I can use uranium with. Look through here. Got search contract, acquisition contracts, about 200. Yes, I'll accept that. Acquisition contract. Accept. Yes. Acquisition contract. Seven. I don't know if I want that or not. Can't haul that. Can't haul that either. I definitely can't haul that. Uh, I can probably haul that. Not this one. I will accept that one as well. I think we'll accept the steel one as well. It's like 200 and something thousand. We'll accept it. Ah, so we got a bunch of contracts to fulfill. I'm going to hang on to these contracts, though, because I want to try and... get myself a healer built. We're going to fly this baby back over here. Hopefully we don't come under attack when we get over here. But we do have this nice set of wind farm system working here. Let me see how the actual battery is going. Okay. So we're going to be depleted here soon, which is unfortunate. So it may be a good idea to start building some extra towers. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a few more towers around the base just to get ourselves a lot more. How do I put this stuff done? Three. We're going to build these one at a time. all this upgrading. All right, there we go. And I'm going to weld all this up best I can. Okay, I'm going to need a lot more. Uh, let's see. All 
I need some interior plates. Grab some of that here. This is what happens in SE. You are going to run into problems. The best way to solve those problems is just get in there and work on it. Bill of planner currently reach capacity. Okay, so not a bad deal. Grab and let's weld. Now this wind uh, set of wind farm systems that we're gonna build, they're far enough apart. I don't think it's gonna cause me any problems getting power and they're high enough off the ground. I don't think it's gonna cause me any problems getting power either. The only thing that's going to cause problems is when I start installing other things like guns and stuff like that. There we go. That sucker work. All right, let's head on down here. All components were successfully withdrawn. We got to finish up this little hour of power here. What does it say? I need two steel plates. Go ahead and take a few more out. How many steel plates? All right, 60. There we go. As long as we're putting more power into the base than we're losing. That solves a whole lot of problems. Now, next thing that has to be done is probably going to be the most fun. I'm going to have to build some hydrogen storage tanks. <laughs> Cute. That's going to be bad. Oh, hydrogen storage. That's that's going to be interesting. I need to move that as far away from... Uh, Pretty good distance from the base, probably. Because <laughs> that one of those goes up in a flaming glory. That's going to be awesome. Let's see how much power we're pulling now out of the system. All right. I uh, current output is 623 between 9,000. Current input is 1.3, 31 megawatts. We're doing we're doing awesome now. Not hurting nothing. Go ahead and send this down just a bit more. Yes, that's right. Drill, baby, drill. This thing is awesome. Having a, a drill that can get down there and drill for me. Making lots of money. Making lots of ores. It's just too easy. It's just too good. Now, when I get done, I got to put all this piston system back up on the same circuit. Which means... Mm, it's going to work out great. So I have a plan right here for dealing with... Uh, how do I put this? I need something to deal with the robot raider pods when they come down. Because I got these turrets here set to biologicals, but I'd like to do as much damage. If I can take one of them out, that's salvage, ladies and gentlemen. That's called salvage. If we can hit it with a couple of well-placed shots and take it out of the equation before it even gets a chance to engage. So the question here is, how do I do that? Well, so far, the robot raiders have always landed over here. I'm thinking maybe a custom turret right here. Set it up. Armor plate this sucker. And uh, maybe quad barrel auto cannons, if y'all think that's a great idea or not. And I can just, we can just sit back here, let it just turn on. And watch it just rip an enemy ship to shreds when they come down towards it. 
We may also add another one of these wind turbines and another battery. Awesome. My opinion. Let's see how we're doing with the uh, battery now. Okay, current output is 1.51. <laughs> so we are going to have to add another power source at some point in time to give us more power. We're going to have to probably add another one of those. I hate to be like this, but that's probably what's going to have to happen. Head over here. To this side. Uh, nine. Uh, two. Let's see if I can get this built up here. Having about more of these is not a bad idea. Wind farming is a great green energy. Not a problem with green energy. My only problem with it is it's usually not very efficient. I've also also told people plenty of times, give me a, a car that looks, give me an electric truck that looks like a freaking warthog. And hey, Elon, I, I will buy that shit. But yeah, that's that would get me to buying an electric car. Make it look like the friggin' Warthog from Halo. And I will be the first one to buy an electric car. Alright, we need a net positive in terms of power. And this is probably going to do it. This is going to get us our net not net positive of power. Warning, your suit's power is low. I know and I don't care. Oh, that's not good. My, uh... <laughs> my ex I have I have to do something now because that, that didn't end well. That's what I thought. <laughs> the freaking hydrogen bottle wasn't filled up. Uh control panel. Turn this on for just a second. And turn it back off. Inventory. That's filled. Right there. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna head around here. Ah. <sighs> There we are. There we are. There we go. And I can charge up my battery pack on the on the uh, suit while I'm at it. Now, with all this going on, we should have a pretty good easy chunk of electricity coming off the base. And all I need to do is just fly up here and finish up. Excuse me. There we go. Let's see what the power is now. Done. Holy tree recharged in negative three hours. Current input is 1.73 megawatts we're pulling a megawatts worth of power here folks we have power we have storage the only thing we need is transportation <laughs> that's it we just need transportation ah how am i gonna do that how am i gonna get some transportation that's gonna be interesting i gotta think I gotta think here. I need one. I need a projector block. 
Well, actually. Well, yeah, we can't exactly build, expect to be able to build a turret and maintain ammunition at the base if I don't have a vehicle first. So we're going to need to get the vehicle first. Dang. I'm going to need the vehicle first. And I'm going to need to build a... A welder pit somewhere next to the base so I can turn on a vehicle so I can have a vehicle and turn it on so we need a an area near the base that I can convert into a garage if necessary it also means I need to possibly Let's see, set up an elevated position or just a regular position here where I can build a vehicle in seconds. That's going to be interesting. Uh, we can build it. We can build it. I'm not saying it can't be done. Just saying it'd be interesting to get it done. Also, I got to be able to build some custom vehicles at some point. And this little vehicle here is just not cutting it. I hate to be that way, but it's not cutting it. I need... We got a guy walking around here. No, no one's really attacked us. I mean, it's been a pretty quiet stream so far. Doesn't mean I don't have 11 12 gauge, 11 reloads on my 12 gauge for nothing. Let's see, I need to put the, uh, I want to put the garage over here. And I may, once I get done building, I may put the drop off area here. Because I can drop everything off right in here. There's a way I'm going to uh, modify the healer. With a small arm on the side so when it comes up to the spot it needs to go to i can just push a button and it'll just poop out all the stuff that i need into a hole and then i don't have to worry about that afterward so yeah first uh, first we gotta build a healer that's gonna be a trick in its own right What does it take to build a reactor? Not, not real bad, actually. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Oh, I need a lot more cobalt, obviously. I'm going to need a lot more materials. It's not going to be too difficult to get this thing built. Now, making it work, that'll be a whole different story. I will have to add some kind of auto gun on top of it and hope to God it works. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I may just put a wall up right here behind this or on the side here so I can get to it. So first off, we're going to have to build... I'm going to have to build some kind of wall here. And then I'm going to build some kind of wall where I can get in and work on this. <laughs> onto the side. I think the best thing to do right now. Or two out. And plan the actual size of this thing. It's going to have to be big, so I'm going to have to weld up pretty good size stuff um i'm trying to think here i want to do this do i want an elevated position that would make the i think that would make putting the welders down a lot easier huh 
Uh, this is annoying. I know I'm going to put a landing pad over on the other side. And I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to put some kind of cargo, some kind of uh, vehicle storage in here. Which is going to require me to put the uh, vehicles on one side of the garage. So we're going to have to put the vehicles in the garage. At the same time, I'm also going to need to have hydrogen storage. I'm going to put that as far away as possible. Because if that blows, I don't want to take it out other sections of the base. Uh. 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 It's interesting. It's very interesting how I'm trying to pull this off. An elevated garage area would be a good idea, obviously, for just obvious reasons. And... Yeah. Also, if I need to put a turret somewhere, it's not going to be that difficult. I'll just build a pillbox somewhere and build a custom turret. And it will, it will literally wreck everything in its path. It'll just say F you to all of it and just say, nope, nope, no, no, no. We're not playing this game. Load me up with ammunition and I will destroy. Before we can do that, we need a proper way of bringing transporting. Uh, magnesium so we can make more ammunition. I mean, auto cannons alone, auto cannon ammo alone costs. Oh, God. I don't even want to think about it. So, I'm going to do this. I think what I need to do is just figure out how big of an area I need to have and then go from there. Um,. A ship printer right here is, is not difficult to do, obviously. I need two pistons. I know that. I need a hookup and I need a projector. This is just going to be for small ships. It's not going to be a big ship printer. When we get ready to do a big ship printer, that's going to be a whole different monster in its own right. I am working on the Sentinel, trying to fix it up to where it's more, you know, ground-friendly if you catch my meaning. And then I'll be able to modify that thing on the fly. Put some nice big guns on it. But uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> um, Will. Something I need to know too. Can I? Okay. It will. Grinders won't work there. Neither will welders. And that's going to be too high. So. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to need to cut this area out here with a drill. And first I need to build. The area this is going to take up. So, looking at this, I kind of want it to take maybe more than that. Yeah, let's take more than that. This is all going to be outside anyway. One, two, three, four. Wait a minute. I probably only need this like five wide. Three, four, five, and uh, one. No, oh, no, 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 no. Two. Bad. Uh, let's see. Five, five wide. Uh, I've also got to take into consideration this section here. Ah, uh, for a T block. There we go. That's about five wide. There. Nine. Two. Three. Four. 
five wide there. That. And that's five wide there. We can go a little further here. Oh yeah. All right, a nice big welder pit, obviously. Now, I am gonna have to knock this down a peg. And then over here, I may add some storage or whatnot, uh, or some sort of garage storage. I may turn this into a garage at some point, and I'll add some piping to put some serious, a serious kill turret on the outside to take care of business. Still not under attack. That is amazing to me, though. Nothing, nothing is willing to pick a fight with me right now. I'm saying I don't, I don't like it. I'm saying it's got me uneasy right now. Oh, I'm dumb. I am not going to need the other point of interest. All right, let's do this. Put all that in there. Where's my steel? Fixing have to rebuild all that. <laughs> Now, this should be big enough to build any small tactical vehicle I want to build. So hopefully it works like it's supposed to. Welcome to SE, folks, where you can build small uh, defensive installations. And we can build the ultimate our garage right here. I do need to consider a better welder. I wonder if I could build one. It'd be cool if I could. Maybe something I have to do here pretty quick. Okay, that's done. Oh, it's partially done. Uh, somewhere in here, I'm going to have to put a small living quarters. Which will be fun. promise you that much. Let's see, production. Let me, let me just look here for a minute. Don't tell me I could make an elite welder. I have the materials to make an elite welder. Do we? Can we? Oh boy. Well, Paul Harvey, can we? Those of you who don't know, Paul Harvey was a guy back in the day who did uh, this type of channels like YouTube before YouTube. And he come up with all kinds of weird stuff all the time What's happening here. I'm moving. Okay, got away from that. That was weird as I'll get out. Yeah, Paul Harvey would come on the internet. Or not the internet. He come on the, the radio, and it was just he just gave out like weird tidbits like TikTokers do today. You know those guys that talk about you know like scary stuff or something. Paul Harvey was the first guy that ever did that, and he was very good at it. He would, and his saying at the very end of the show was always Paul Harvey, good day. And he one time talked about a guy who was a, um, let's see. 
a Yahtzee, who was uh, petitioned to live by men that he interrogated. He was called the master. Interesting story. Um, the guy did not agree with the other Yahtzees. Uh, he was there to survive, basically. Uh, no, no telling whatever else he did, but he almost single-handedly beat the Allies because no one could get in front of this man and not talk. And what was interesting was when people asked later, they were like, how, how could this guy do this? And what ended up happening was the uh, soldiers, uh, the, the way he lived was the soldiers that he interrogated all petitioned for his, you know, for him to live. Everyone couldn't figure out why. And it turned out it was the guy's interrogation technique, which was he would, well, most of the time the Nazis would be really bad. This guy would come in before anyone else and he would drop a pint of beer and a really big sandwich. And then he would just talk to the guy like they were good friends. And the interesting part was uh, when he was asked about his interrogation technique, he said, one of the things you got to remember, he said, is in war-torn times, he said, anyone's everyone's looking for an ally. He said, and if you're nice to people, they loosen up pretty quick. And uh, you could talk to them. The, the very people that he interrogated and the very people that he almost that almost spilled the beans and almost cost us the war with the Axis. Uh, he sat back and uh, he, um, he was considered by them as a good friend. They actually respected him because uh, one, one soldier actually stated, he said that he respected this guy because he was the only person within the entire camp that this guy was in who treated him like a human being. He said, that's probably why I loosened up to him. I trusted him because he was nicer than the rest of them were. And this guy basically said he he bored violence and uh, did did not enjoy you know being violent. He didn't believe in beating information out of someone. He said one, you get false information. They they'll start telling you whatever you want to hear just to get the beatings to stop. So it's it's very interesting, uh, you know. And Paul Harvey was not a, a sympathizer of anything. Paul Harvey talked about everything from everything. I remember one time he was talking about a guy who had given up on life. And he said, sometimes life doesn't give up on you. He said, and to prove it, I have a story for you today. Paul Harvey had this kind of odd way of talking. But he'd be sitting there and he'd go, he said, this one man, you know, shows up. He goes, decides he's going to kill himself because he's a failed actor and whatnot. He's, he's, he's views himself as a failure. And he goes to the top of the Empire State Building. And the guy jumped. Well, turns out he jumped fell four stories, a good strong wind hit him and throwed him back into the building at about the fourth story, about four stories down and just crashed him through a window. Guy comes barreling through the window and he, he gets himself up. He's, he's cut up and bruised. Not badly, but I mean, just, you know, just a little bit. And it just shows the difference in people back then and now today. And he's, you know, he's, he's cut up, he's bruised and he looks up and he sees a guy over there with a set of headphones like we do here on Twitch and the guy's looking at him and the radio man is it's a radio guy, radio personality, and the guy goes, Well, ladies and gentlemen, I the noise you just heard right now uh, is some, some guy just apparently come flying through the window. I don't I don't understand what's going on. And I can't I can't fathom what's happening. Sir, what's wrong with you? And so the guy gets up, you know, he starts talking about his life and how Everything is horrible. He says, I've lost my job. I've lost my home. The depression has hit. I have nothing else. He said, and I'm just, he said, I'm just going to end it all. And because of that, all the radio listeners, about a thousand people called into the radio station saying, look, it is so bad. It, it, life is not worth giving up on. Come to our house and we'll keep you there. Free room and board until you get back up on your feet. So the dude ended up, you know, really being taken care of. And those are the stories that Paul Harvey talked about. And, and he was basically the, I, I encourage anyone who does YouTube, anyone who does TikTok, anyone who does Twitch, look up Paul Harvey. Okay. Uh, Paul Harvey was YouTube before it was YouTube. He was radio YouTube. That's what he did. And uh, if you can find some of the old broadcasts, they're all interesting. 
he he talked about stuff that yeah and and plus if you're a tiktoker if you're a youtube person who talks about weird stuff just start going through paul harvey's entire list you will have plenty of videos to talk about the man was a legend and he was always super nice uh from what i understood All right, let's get to work here. We've got to take this down <laughs> so I can... Oh, no. We've had a freeze in the game. Please don't do this. While we're waiting for that to happen, Badger's going to get up here, and um, you're going to hear uh, Liquid hitting a container. I promise you it's not peeing in a bowl. Just filling up the plastic cup I've got in here with some water. So I can keep myself hydrated tonight, keep my voice nice and chipper for all you people out there. But yeah, I should I should probably do that. I should probably look up Paul Harvey and talk about some of the weird things Paul Harvey talked about. He talked about people that were on the Titanic. He talked about uh, all sorts of individuals. Okay, we've got that going on here. All right, let's uh, go through here. I need some light. I hate doing this because... There we go. We got that cleared out there. But yeah, at the end at the end of Paul Harvey's stuff, he always said, "Paul Harvey, could they?" <laughs> that was always the deal. One of one of the weirdest ones he ever did was a woman who was had a stroke or something, and she come out of the stroke speaking perfect Chinese. Weirdest story I'd ever heard. And that was the thing. You didn't know if Paul Harvey's stories were true or not, but they were pretty cool to listen to. Like I said, he was YouTube before it was YouTube. And he, he was internet. Per if, if Today, he'd probably have one of the most successful shows on YouTube. Era, it was just not the era for him. What we're in right now. He he was not just born in the right era. Because today he'd have a million followers and be a household name. Like I said, the ending of the show was always Paul Harvey, could they? One of one of the funniest stories though was another one where a guy uh was doing a tradition. <laughs> I can't remember what the tradi where it was at. But the tradition was you gave your spouse that your future spouse a ice cream or a sundae. And as you did the sundae, the uh, the spouse would, would eat it and you put an almond in there. If your spouse found the almond, they won the prize, which was you. If not, I guess you kept doing it. Oh, one guy got a great idea. He decided, you know what? I, I'm smarter than the, the people of old. I'm going to do one better. I'm going to put the engagement ring inside. And oh boy, <laughs> that went over well. <laughs> so anyway, turns out later he had to tell his spouse that uh, she'd accidentally ate her engagement ring. And they were going to have to wait three weeks to get that engagement ring back. <laughs> Paul Harvey, could they? <laughs> Fun times, I'm gonna tell you. Fun times back in the day, old radio was just awesome. Kind of showing my age here, but I still I enjoyed it. Ah, oh, God, I put the wrong thing. Really. All right, there we go, conveyor. All right, here we go. We're going to build us a nice little welder pit here. 
Wait, whoa, whoa, I don't need that one there. All right, we got that done. That's five across. Okay, so now. There we go. Throw that inside. Grab most of the components here. All right. Well, we get this finished up. And there was no topic also that Paul Harvey wouldn't wouldn't discuss. Always loved it because Paul Harvey usually talked about history and stuff like that, which I'm a big history buff anyway. I, I like listening to stuff about, oh, you know, this battle, they did this, and then uh, one guy did this over here and came up with a very interesting way of beating this other idiot, which was just amazing. I dare say we are uh, we are not coming under attack, and I don't know why. <laughs> this is nuts. Usually I'm getting attacked constantly. I don't know what's going on here. The mod's working. Watch, I'm gonna say this, and then the whole base is gonna come under attack. I'm just gonna be sitting here like, why did I why did I even say it? There we go. Now then I need some small steel tubes here. Production. I would like a thousand steel tubes. So it seems we've got a whole lot of uh, equipment going on here. That's good. I'm just sit in this little uh, seat here. Build my energy back up. I have not seen a single attack. I don't know what's what's going on here. Hmm. Interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. All right, let's head over here. Ah, uh, really? Are we working on it? All right, hurry up. On top of that, I'm going to have to get some metal grids. There we go. Just keep cutting into it. And come on. What is happening here? All right, wonderful. There we go. Let's fly back up here a bit. Also, it wouldn't be a bad idea to put some searchlights in. You know, just some searchlights. We went all a dang a night without one attack. That's weird. Of course, knowing the uh, enemy attacking at dawn might be more their style. All right, let's uh, grab some steel plates here and let's begin. With the welders number nine. Getting this done here. Let me flip that around. Probably not the most efficient way of doing this, but 
Unable to place welder. Why? Oh. This is the problem with this. Oh yeah. There we go. Ah, gonna have to hit that again. Let's just burrow through here for a minute, make sure we get everything out of the way here. I think I may have to knock this all down as well. Come on. I think that will do it. Uh, nine. There we go. Juke, 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 and let's fly right up out of here. All right, I. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say this will work. <laughs> I want to say this will work. Um, all right, I think if I turn this on, What's going to happen is... Right, let's see here. 2 by 3 flat. Don't have... Okay. I guess we're going with this. I need girders. Are you serious? Alright. This this little should just weld itself up once I get one of them welded up. Uh girders. <clears throat> there we go. Now then. Unable to place the window. Uh, oh, wait, I know why. <sighs> I know why. Um, hmm. First, let me get the components here I need. All components were successfully withdrawn. That's That's actually pretty nice. All right. Uh, okay, according to this, I should have everything I need to build this. Now, oh boy, I hope this works. I think if I, I, I turn this on, it will weld up the rest of them. First off, though, number four, uh, okay, can't do that. Uh, for obvious reasons. Let me see. Let me think. Oh, wait. I was doing this anyway. All right, there we go. That should do the trick. Now, let's go number two. Boom. Boom. Yes, look at it work. Ah, oh, jeez. There's always one. There's always one. Alright, let's do it here.
It's always one. Okay. Here is hoping this works. Let's find that welder. Okay, this should be interesting. Welder one. Check the rest of these here while I'm at it. Grab all the welders here. Is it working? It's building. It will not build the rest of them. What in God's name, really? All right. Let's turn off all the welders. Okay, I know how I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to just weld a line of them up. Same time production. We're gonna get a thousand glass. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, control panel. Let's go down here to welder. One here. Or nine. Turn those off. I don't want to get fragged. <laughs> Just, let's be honest. I don't want to get fragged. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do? We're gonna. Cut this section off here. And I'm going to... Two, three, four, five. Okay. Probably don't even need that much, but... Okay, so they'll, they'll weld side to side. That's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to weld each of these side ones, turn the system on, and it should weld itself up just nicely. Sometimes my genius is frightening. <sighs> What'll be even more frightening is when I get this thing to work. Ah, here we go. Just heard gunfire. Fuck here. What did, the, what did we shoot? What did we kill? Where's the dead guy? Oh, look, they're out here. Hello, sir. How you doing? Did you die? That's wonderful. I need your stuff. Thank you very much. Give me your crap. Okay. There's another one. Y'all just up and died, didn't you? Here we go. Give me all your stuff. All I want is your stuff. Not really interested in anything else. Is that a guy's backpack? Yep. There is another one. I should have guessed. And more. Why, why can't I? Oh, can't grab all that now, can I? Can't have too much fun. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. Okay. System's working right now. Oh, wait, hold up. All components are successfully withdrawn. Wonderful. And we get these welders finished. You're going to see some cool stuff happen. Somehow I withdrew everything and I did not get the motors I needed. How? 
Right, where is the stuff I need? Okay, I got girders. I need girders. All right, we got that done. Drop down here. We've been attacked by bad guys already. All right. This is about to go good. <laughs> about to see some really cool stuff here. One down here. Builder one through nine on. Oh, I love it when things come together. Watch this thing go. All right. That's right. Just build up all my stuff. That just looks amazing. Hmm? Why did we stop? Why have we stopped? Hmm. Hmm. We even got that going. What do I need to do here? Uh, thousand? 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 Thousand, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand. That should be all I need, honestly. Oh, we're just gonna sit back and wait. I'll let you have its uh, day. And then uh, I'm gonna drop this one more time. Ah, that's a problem. Probably ran out of uh, stuff right there. Go here and hop in this. Recharge myself here. Get back and enjoy the time. Also, I need to turn that light off. Not helping me. It's not right now. Now it hasn't even started the other stuff yet. I guess is once the glass gets started building, it'll start welding that up too. How are we doing here? It's almost done. Hmm. Interesting. Says it doesn't have the silicon wafers to do this. I think we do. <sighs> okay, I could watch this pot boil. What else am I going to do, though? Eh, maybe enough for now. Are you joking? Here we are. Yes. Look at that. Ah, oh, look. Holy fuck. Yeah, I need a, a way of shooting those when they come down. Ugh, that didn't end very well. Ooh. All right. Grab all that. Grab all that. That is... And more rounds of ammunition. All right, y'all sit right there until I get back. Drop all this off here. 
Yeah, the robot raider pod has decided to show up once again. Right in the middle. Right in the middle of me showing off that, that thing going down. Doesn't matter, though. We're getting some materials we desperately need. And that's awesome. Now, let's look at the uh, Wilder Pit. Okay, yeah, the Wilder Pit's doing good. Every time it makes one. Ah, all right. Wonder what the power is doing now. <laughs> that that's something I'm interested in seeing. Okay, I need to drop another magazine and everything. We've got all kinds of goodies here. Let's just chuck ten more in there. This guy earned it. These turrets have earned their keep today by fending off those danged robot raiders. Ooh, ah. <clears throat> now all of, all these guns suddenly have a whole lot more ammo in them. Oh wait, I gotta watch it because I get too close to that, I'll I'll get fragged. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Is it... Looks like it's still building. Yeah, it's still building itself up. Okay, it'll, it'll take a bit, but... It'll get done here. Yeah, a bunch of robot raiders attack... And get fragged. Ward 11. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with the rest of those um, welders here. What could I be missing? Okay, let's see what we're missing here. Got large steel to oh, I bet it's construction components. Throw that on there. Yep, uh, that's what it was. It's construction components. I just lost my jetpack, by the way. Not too close now. You see here that it's building up the rest of these. Yeah, see that? That's just awesome right there. The Zul Welder Pit will weld up any vehicle I want. So it's not going to be difficult to get a vehicle I need. I just got to put a... What do I got to put here? I just got to set the system up to where I can build wherever I want. And then the healer can be fabricated right out of this just as soon as everything else gets done. I need right now Come up. Uh, shift small ship welder. All right, we have a small ship welder. Turn all those off. Go over here and look at this. We now, ladies and gentlemen, have a 3D printer that will print any vehicle that is small to our heart's desire. I can print just about any type of small vehicle here. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to push um, eight. And this is what I need right here. I need this in position. 
so that I can hook up a printer to it or, or hook up a projector and some other stuff and hook a few, you know, pistons to this and elevate it up out of the floor. It's probably the best way to do things. I can just push a button and it'll just and the whole thing will be printed. I don't have to worry about it. It'll be awesome. Ah. Oh. I wonder if I shouldn't put that down on the ground. Now what I can do. Welder on. See, so cool. Turn it off. There now. A small ship uh, welder here. And what we need is number seven. One. And two. Just for giggles. Uh, I need to fill up here. I forgot I can do this. Okay. There. And I just realized I need to turn that on. Just for a second, turn that back off. And there we go. There we are. Now, this should work. I should be able to build this no problem. Let's go back here to all ship welder, turn it on. Okay, you built everything but the top one. I think I may just take that out. I don't think we need it. Turn it off. Uh, let's see here. I don't think we'll need that because this will... Ex we just shot somebody, didn't we? Go out here and look. Is it this dude? No. Oh, there's a bad guy there. They are apparently trying to attack the people. I will not allow it. Get off there. Give me your drills. Give me your stuff. Are there any more? Who this particle effect from the weather, man. Just... I don't like it, because it, it starts interfering with my game. But it is doing pretty good right now. It's doing pretty good. Hey, darling. How you doing? Fly around here. Guns don't seem to have shot anything else. Looks like one dude trying to... Get to the base. Okay. So. Next thing that needs to be done. I need to next. Do. Grind this off. Oh god no. <laughs> you. There we go. Alright. And number nine. Actually, let's uh, cut that off there. 
That's about as far as we're going to need that to go. I think we can get this all figured out. Bada bing, bada boom. And let's go to G because I'm going to need something new that apparently I don't have. Huh. Progression. Where is my projector? I need lights for the projector, really. Okay. Uh, let's just throw an interior light down here. There we go. And just... Ah, oh, seriously. All right, let's grab some uh, stuff. There's construction components. I need to just put an idiot button over here. Well, I'm at it. Here's the rest of the idiot buttons at. There we go. We'll put the whole darn thing down here. Ah, I need interior plates for this crap. Seriously. Actually, hold on. I think I need to personally weld that up. Let's weld it up. By building the interior plate, you have unlocked a new part. Oh, wonderful. I have unlocked the projector. That's amazing. All right, this is going to make life a whole lot more interesting. Let's add this projector here. Let's take this uh, light off. All right, components added. Let's go get our components. I'm going to have to build this wall at some point in time. All components were successfully withdrawn. Oh, this is going to be fun. Not going to lie, this is going to be fun. Okay, uh, I need a cockpit. Number one. Bribes. Not one thing, it's another. And another, and another, and another. That in there. Gotta open this up. Okay, what do I need? I need, um... Interior plates. Alright. Get up here because I'm going to put this right behind it here. And then... God, this feature is amazing. Can't believe I have not been using this for so long. Cannot withdraw 20 construction components. Are you serious? Come on, I've got to have the 20. I've got to have that. How do I not have that? I withdraw the computers. Serious. Okay, come on. Where are the computers? I've got over a hundred computers. What are you talking about? I can't withdraw them. All components successfully withdrawn. I bet you I've got enough stuff to finish this thing up and make it work. Now, can I build the healer?
This is the part where we find out. LOC power grid offline. What are you talking about? Yeah, like five hours worth of power here. Okay. Um. G menu first. Groups. Oop. And toggle that on and off. All blocks. Uh, let's see here. Oh god, this is bad. <laughs> I didn't label this. Huh. <sighs> All right. Um, let's do this. This is the easiest thing you can do. Those are wondering how to do this. You, you just take that out right there. Uh, let's go in here. We'll look for these pistons. They should be incomplete now. Piston renter one and piston renter two. Go. Uh, let's. Render two. All right, there we go. Um, All right, turn that off. Let's see what we built. Okay, this is perfect. Now, all I need is a couple more steel plates. Oh, wait, no, I don't need steel plates. That's a light armor block right there. I'll weld it up, and our official chip printer is done. All right. Let's print a healer. Let me look in here. We got a first off. I got to set this thing up. Piston printer one. Um, the reverse. Piston printer two. Reverse. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into K menu. And we're going to determine uh, the velocity of this. I need to really zero point one, and I want this. There we go. Zero point one meters per second. We're going to extend that to its maximum distance. Extends that to its maximum distance. And reverse this just to see. Oh, that is way too fast. But I should be able to just very easily three dimensionally print it. It's way too quick. It shouldn't be going that quick. I'm going to came in. You see what we did wrong here. What the heck? I set the velocity on that. For some reason it... it... <sighs> okay. All right, that's annoying. Well, there's only one way to solve this. Enter piston one. Increase maximum distance. Increase maximum distance. Decrease maximum distance.
And then I need to put both of those into a group. Printer piston. G menu. Piston, reverse. Okay. So now, seriously. Oh, that one's going slow. Is all get out. I said two freaking meters, and that thing just decided to go ham. Uh, okay. Let me menu again. <clears throat> Printer, let's go down here, and we'll... All right, velocity is at one. Menu back again. All blocks. We are going to go with the same system we had just a minute ago, which was a reverse. And reverse. I'm going to remove these from the toolbar. Oh, wait, no, I need that. All right, let's see what happens. All right, wonderful. That's the first one. And then number five. Yes, it's going up nice and slow now. All right. All right, pull this back down. Okay. Now for the projector. Where crap is going to get stupid. Right there. Uh, horizontal offset. Decrease horizontal offset. Now what I'm doing here... Is I'm putting in all of these into the control panel here because there is no easy way of doing this. Increase roll. Increase roll. Okay, I think we got everything. Now, uh, one more thing I got to add here in the G menu is a projector. And this will toggle the block on and off. And hopefully, if I've got everything set up, we'll have a healer tonight. Okay. First things first, K okay, menu, search, projector. Let's add a blueprint here. We've got a lot of options, but this is what I want. Multiple grids are not supported. I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, let's see here. Where are we going with this? I 
right there we go let's there what back okay uh alt let me look here there you go bingo i think we've hooked on to it uh let's see i kind of want to go down with it a bit more all right okay here we go Oh boy, that didn't end well. That's it, baby. Just keep on a building it. Can be placed. I think we got everything built on it. Let's keep it going up. Up, 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 up. Okay. The A menu. Wheels master. Add wheels. There we go. Check this out and off. There it's like I wanted to build that. I didn't want it to not have that. We're missing a wheel here. I think I know what the problem is. Uh let me go into this. And I'm going to tell the system, because I think that's what I did wrong. Turner pistons. Share the inertia. All right. Um, hey, we're under attack. Lots of people are just dying right now. Bad guys are down. Well, that was exciting <laughs> in a lackluster kind of way. I am hoping that we got everything built on that because. Oh, he's happy. He's protected right now. That's why everybody's here. They don't want to die. I am just unloading ammo and I shouldn't be. Oh, yeah. All right, head out here. We'll grab the rest of this stuff. Nice when retards just show up, hand you some ammunition. And don't have a problem dying. Ooh, this guy had a nice rifle on him. Fly over here, see if we got any more dead guys. Are there any dead guys over here? No, they all attack that side of the base huh Let's see who where who are you okay guess we're all right then
All right. Um, hmm. Actually, I know how to do this. Uh, let's. Oh boy, I hope this doesn't hurt anything. Boom. Oh, we don't have that on. Nope, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Yeah, I know, this is awesome, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it took me forever to get this thing to work. All right, I need to see all these wheels. No, no, no. Add wheel. Yes. All right, uh, second thing I need to do. I need to tell the system to build a couple of... About 20 reactors. Let's do that. Boop. Oh, no, I need silver for that. Do I have enough for all this? I've been eating through some guns. Surely I got enough for that. Let's get the healer done here. Uh, eight, let it down. I get targeted. What are you doing over here? Hi. Hello. Talk to me? No? Okay. Fine. All right. Story of my life. I didn't realize what was standing in front of them, and they just didn't care. Okay, so the healer right now is done. This is one sexy truck, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, I may have to uh, modify, like, the strength of the... I think I'll do that right now. Wheels Master. Let's see here. The strength of this is just kind of nuts. Put that down a bit. Friction will drop it a bit. And there we go. Can I drive this thing? Oh, I can drive it. How much power we got? Three hours. Check that out. Uh, uh, I can't get out of here because my uh, my ship is in the way. It appears everything is working like it's supposed to. We've got our jack system. I've got my battery set up. It's holding it about... three hours. We have a hydrogen tank. I just need to move the uh, ship. That's all I need to do. Let's grab this. Get it out of here. You know. Figure out why this thing just is not. Holding very good. I still don't understand why it's not doing what it's supposed to. We'll land it right here for now. All right. So the healer six by six is done. I need to go buy some uranium <laughs> so we can drive this thing. A little uranium may go far. The cool thing about the healer is it doesn't have to have. Okay, I didn't. I almost forgot. I don't know how much I actually have here. We're gonna find out though. All right. Like I said, the healer is not just a six by six. It's a hybrid six by six. All right, here we go. I've got 43,000 here. Oh, 
No! 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 Oh, they're not selling uranium anymore. No, that's bad. Ah. I think the healer can make it, though. If nothing else, I can just take it over to the one deal and just turn it off, just fill it full of ice and let it build up some hydrogen. Because it, it can literally do that. I can run it on just hydrogen if I want. Anyway, here we go. Road trip. Road trip. Here we go, folks. Road trip. We're going to take the healer. We're going to drive all the way out of here. We got people showing up. All right, let's see. How's my hydrogen pack doing? Pretty darn good. All right, there we go. So we may not have uranium to run the truck on, but we do have hydrogen, and that's a good thing. Yeah, the healer goes here. Okay. Yeah, I know. Turn it off for a second. We got three hours. Let's see if I can make these uh, wheels. That's power. All right. Um, here we go. Says we got like 43 minutes. We're doing pretty good, though. We have a spare tire should we need it. If I have to, we can increase speed. In a pretty good velocity right now. And there we go. We have an ultra nice healer. Ha 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 ha. Check out the healer, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is awesome. It's a small utility transport truck that I can build. And it's it's beautiful. I may build an armored version of the, or like a, uh, like a military version of this, which has some heavy armor in some places. Like I said, this thing has a hydrogen powered engine. I can drive over here and literally just turn on some hydrogen, power up the batteries. It runs on a set of small batteries. I mean, it's, it's got like a two hour lifetime on the batteries. We literally can drive this thing across the desert here. Get over to this area and just uh, grab some interesting stuff. I also could probably slap a turret or two on the top of this thing. Easy right now. We're just chugging along now. And I can control the speed that this vehicle goes. We got magnesium, but first off, to build up power to the vehicle, we're going to need to get some ice. And that's the best part about the healer is you can just go over here, grab some ice, and just start throwing it into the back of it. A 
for some reason, rovers for some reason just want to turn left. I don't know what it is. And we're plowing, we're plowing right past that. We may build an up armored version of this, a gun truck variant, at some point in time. Here right now, we're pulling 70 something miles per hour. And we're doing good. We're going to get down here to this area. Just let the vehicle just dry. Oh, did not see that. They're way down there. Yep, this looks like a tip. Is that? Oh, <laughs> don't need that. Time to get some ice. I think it's alt middle I can just start throwing stuff in here pretty quick where's fill back up again alt in middle big fear is I hate saying this because I bet you I'm gonna jinx it get this thing filled here. Um, let's check inside here. How are we doing? Vector is filled. Medium cargo container is filled. And yes, this thing has an H2O2 generator, which allows it tanks over here. Go to one of these uh, small Tanks here. We're at 10% filled. The tanks are going to fill up. And what happens is I can turn on the engine here and this will just automatically start powering the engine up. We get a few more. A little bit more ice here. Yeah, we have a hydrogen powered car. Pretty much. Runs on gas. Got to get those alternate fuels there, folks. One of the things I've learned in playing Space Engineers. Things that work and the things that don't. Alright, info here. So, medium cargo containers are filled almost to the brim. I think now would be a good time. Hydrogen tanks are up to like 20% right now. So here, here's my plan here. I'll hop in this. Cripes, drive! Can't turn the vehicle real good. 
Yeah, that ship fuel's low. What the hell is shooting at me? Cripes, I need to... All right, I don't see anyone coming, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to head over to Rapid saying right now we've only got like six minutes left. Whoa. We went just a little too fast there. It's, uh, slow ourselves down here, folks. <laughs> All right, where's the magnesium at? Fortunately, this thing can still boogie at like 30 miles per hour, so not a big deal. And I'm pretty sure those guys are coming after me. Go over here to this uh, magnesium. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. This is a magnesium deposit. Yeah, magnesium deposit right over here. Oh, calm down. What is this? Looks like nickel. I do not know what it is that's causing that thing to turn like that. Wish I did. Thing here, it's got 33 minutes left, so. We're 41% hydrogen fill. So not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. I am going to have to do something. I'm going to have to build a gun truck. Unknown signal was detected. Turn on the parking brake. All right. While well, they try to figure out how to get to me, I'm going to hop down here and grab some. All right. I need to drop this over here. Oh, wow. I still got ice in this thing. Guarantee you, it will not take long for those guys to get to me here. All right, this cargo container is almost full. I'm going to fill up as much of these cargo containers as possible. This is like two, three loads already. So before we're doing like one load, this is like two. This thing will hold a lot more. Stuff, let me tell you. It'll hold a lot more. I need to check here how much of the we're not even, we're not even fully filled yet. Both the cargo containers are almost full. The 
Oh, they are full. We'll go ahead and fill ourselves up. I don't see bad guys on the horizon, so we should be good for just a few more minutes. Let's do this. Gotta hurry, gotta be careful. We're gonna have to put, uh... All right, we, uh, we filled that up. I gotta hurry too, because... If the system... If I'll leave that for too long without a nuclear energy inside of it, it will eventually run down, and I'll have no way of restarting that battery. Alright. I can risk this a bit. Oh, what I do? No, 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 no. Go back, go back. Push the ROM button. All right, got that. Run right back down the mine for just a second here. Yes, I know. All right, got what I need. Let's get out of here. Come on. There we go. Back in the saddle again. Take off parking brake. We are heading back to base. Check out the healer, folks. <laughs> it does what it does, I'm telling you. Right now, this thing can work really good without any uranium. And I run into any problems, I can just turn, I can just click number six on and charge this sucker up. Now, what I'm going to do is we are going to set up a system in place so that I can get this thing to working. All right, we're doing pretty good. Hydrogen tanks are almost filled up. We're at 84%. And when I need to, I can just click on number six and just pull all the power out of this I need. And look at us, we're driving. Yeah, this is a little rover I have built in game and it's going to it's going to perform beautifully out here in the wild. I need to figure out how to make uh drones that follow you. That'd be a good one. Fixing to get off here. A three-hour stream. Holy crap, folks. Mm. This is going to be interesting to put on YouTube. Let's try to just get there. Once it hits 90, I'm going to kick on the... Uh, I'm just trying to figure out why it does this. I don't know why this thing turns left all the time. It's it's annoying. Wish I could stop that. One of the cool things is you can throttle down this vehicle. Or probably not that much. There we go. 
I'd love to know why this thing turns left all the time. Frankly, I don't think I'll ever know. Okay, I got like one hour's worth of power. This thing is getting up to maximum strength. Let's go right ahead and check the battery. See how much we actually have. Oh, it's a backup battery. <laughs> There's the backup battery. Uh, auto. I can store 50 kilowatts if I have to. Oh, that's right. I put a uh, backup battery on this, I think. Didn't I? Anyway. Uh, let's draw number six. Info. Go to control. Check here, see what's going on. We got 20.2 kilowatts going into the battery here. So I can easily just, <clears throat> hey, it's not even affecting that too much. So this is going to get a huge boost in power, which I don't even have to really worry about. But I'm going to press number six right here, turn that off, turn this off entirely. And hop on out. We have the healer, folks. It works like it's supposed to. It does a good job. I like it. This thing has a crap ton. Holy crap, I've got so much magnesium now. It's not even going to be a problem getting what I need done. A right, three-hour live stream, folks. Can you imagine that? Anyway, those other NPCs are going to be heading our direction soon. And uh, we, we've done pretty good. Did this thing even take a hit? I don't think we got hit. I don't think we got hit one time. If we did, we don't, I don't see it. Yeah, this is this has become a good thing. Right, put that in there. Get the rest of this, and also I can just throw the hydrogen bottle in there and really go to town if I want. There we go. Just a little more. A little more. And a little more. And we got a little more magnesium in these tiny little compartments here. Uh, no. Don't do that. All right. There we are, folks. The healer has brought us a decent amount of materials. And it's doing his job nicely. Check that out. Ain't a whole lot of rovers that sexy, I'm telling you. Let me uh, this crap away. And I'm just going to get a nice little picture here. for this particular live stream. And folks, I just want to say thank you so uh, very much today. Oh, 
do that again. Hang on. Just the wrong ding button. I want to thank everybody today for joining the stream. Three hour stream, kind of long, but we did a lot. We got a printer done. We built the healer. We fixed up the base and we did some missions and we've got a whole bunch of magnesium to start filling weapon systems in the base with. Um, next up is probably going to be some means of arming the healer. That's what we're going to have to do at some point is uh, arm it. I don't know how we're going to arm it. We're going to have to put probably some guns on it somewhere where I can just start hammering away and hitting targets with them. Um, don't know how that's going to work. Don't really know how that's going to work, honestly. But we have the healer, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, she is a fantastic little truck. <laughs> it looks little. It, it's a giant rover, but I mean, heck, it's it's a good truck. And it can go places. So we can drive out and get ourselves some stuff. We're also going to be able to do some delivery missions over to the other base. So, yeah, it, well, good things, good things, good things, good things. Anyway, folks, just want to thank you guys for watching tonight. Uh, you could have watched any other stream. You're watching mine. Thank you for watching. I've enjoyed this. Um, and uh, just going to say, stay safe. Keep the powder dry, engineers. And I'll see you guys next time. Badge Wild, signing out.